So we are going to do this question for double integration. So we'll start with this question here. Double integration R sine x plus y dx dy. Okay. So when you look here, this sign is a con sign x plus y is a continuous function of r. Okay, so r is given the domain. This is not real number. It is domain, the domain r. So this function is already continuous in this interval. Okay, so the x ranges is from zero to pi by two, and the y is ranging from also from zero to pi by two. So the first limit here is stand for dx. And the second one stands for dy. So you'll have here as 0 to pi by 2. This is for y. Here we have the range 0 to pi by 2. And the second one is for x. So that is also 0 to pi by 2. Sine x plus y dx dy. So we have this. Okay. So we'll try to integrate first of all with respect to and try to integrate this one with respect to x okay we try to integrate this with respect to x so we have here 0 to pi by 2 so integration of this with respect to x okay integration of this with respect to x so we get here as we are integrating this with respect to x okay so integration of sine we is we have as integration of sine is minus cos x okay so minus cos x plus y minus cos x plus y and we'll apply the limit that is from 0 to pi by 2 d y okay so we have this so this is equal to 0 to pi by 2 here now we'll put down upper limit first so we get here minus cos pi by 2 plus y plus because minus minus when you put the upper limit uh, lower limit we have to get minus so minus into minus we get plus so we have here plus cos 0 plus y and we have to integrate this with respect to dy okay so we have to integrate this with respect to dy here so this is equal to 0 to pi by 2 here Okay, 0 to pi by 2. So we get here cos y minus cos pi by 2 plus y. Pi by 2 plus y, it lies in the second quadrant. It lies uh, in the second quadrant. So cos is negative and cos will change to sine. Okay, cos is negative and it will change to sine. So we have here plus sine y so we get this dy now let, let us integrate with respect to y this one integration of course with respect to y we have this as sine y and integration of sine with respect to y we have nothing but minus cos y we'll put the upper limit and lower limit so 0 to pi by 2 so the upper limit is sine pi by 2 minus cos pi by 2 minus sine 0 minus cos 0 so we get this sine pi by 2 is 1 cos pi by 2 is 0 minus sine 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 so we get here 1 minus into minus we get plus so 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 okay so 1 plus 1 we get nothing but that is the value of the integration here. Let me do one more question here. Integration. Equation. E evaluate. Evaluate. Double integration R. XY. X square plus Y square dx dy over r given by the domain is given by 0 to a this is for the limit for x 0 to b this is the limit for y 
okay and we can see that this function is continuous in r okay the function is continuous in r since solution of this you can write here since the integrand integrand is continuous is continuous in r that is the domain okay so we have here integration the 0 to a is the limit for x and 0 to b is the limit for y okay so first limit is for y so 0 to b second is for x so 0 to a x you multiply this one we get x cube y plus x y cube dx dy okay so first of all we'll try to integrate with respect to x so if i integrate this function with respect to x okay what i'll get here i get x to the power 4 y by 4 plus if i integrate this with respect to x we get x square y cube by 2 and the limit is from 0 to a dy so we have 0 to b you put the upper limit first so we get a to the power 4y by 4 plus a square y cube by 2 and if you put the lower limit we get 0 so no need to put the lower limit so we get dy here now let us integrate this with respect to y so if i integrate this one with respect to y i get here y square by 2 plus a square by 2 y to the power 4 by 4 then we'll put the limit so we have 0 to b okay we have the limit to be 0 to b so we we'll get a to the power 4 by 8 into b square plus a square by 8 b to the power 4 and when i put the lower limit it will be 0 so i'm not putting this value so from here, what we can take common? We can take common a square b square by 8. So we are left with a square plus b square. So that is the value of the integration. Then let us do one more question here. Evaluate, evaluate, double integration, R, X cube, Y, DX, DY, over, R, R is defined to be, 0 is less than X, is less than equal to 1, then 0 is less than equal to y is less than equal to 2. So this is your domain on which we have to take the integration. Solution of this. Since x cube y is continuous is continuous okay is continuous is continuous in r so we know that the function x cube y is continuous in r now we have to integrate this so we have double integration so the first integration is for dy and the second is for uh, x uh, dx okay so what is the limit for y it is from 0 to 2 so we have here 0 to 2 and here we have 0 to 1 x cube y dx dy so we get this x cube y dx dy so this is equal to 0 to 2 now we'll try to integrate this with respect to x so if we integrate this with respect to x we get x4 y by 4 and we'll apply the limit so we have 0 to 1 dy now so we have this 0 to 2 okay 0 to 2 you put the upper limit so we get 1 to the power 4 into y by 4 and if you put the lower limit, it will be 0. So no need to put 
Now we'll try to integrate this with respect to y. So we get here 1 by 4 y squared by 2. Then we'll put the lower limit, so 0 to 2. So 1 by 4 into 2 squared by 2. Okay, and the, if we keep the lower limit, it will be 0. So I'm not putting that value here. So we get 4 by 2, so that 4 and 4 cancel, we get the answer to be 1 by 2. Thank you.